For those of you that don't know me, I am an NBA champion, Olympic medalist, and currently number eight for the Brooklyn Nets. But more importantly, my name is Patrick Mills. I'm a Gugara, Nagi Agal, and Dawareb Meriam man, born and raised in my home country, Australia. Thank you everyone for coming out today to witness this magnificent masterpiece, The Mural. This came up about a year ago, a conversation with the general manager of the Brooklyn Nets, Sean Marks, and the opportunity was to be able to celebrate 10 years of the, the Nets being in Brooklyn. So what we decided to do, and there's a lot of people that were involved in this, was honour Indigenous people around the world and also other diverse cultures that are here um, in the backyard of the, of the Brooklyn Nets. What's up, brother? How are you, man? Good to see you. How are you doing? Good. Love this place. We're here at the studio headquarters of Street Theory. Two very special people, Liza and Victor, who have a non-profit, Murals for Movement. There's a lot of different people that we're bringing together um, to create this mural. This is the start of the creative process and looking forward to seeing what um, you know, the, the end product will be. We spoke as an organization with the Mills Foundation, the Red Hawk Native American Arts Council, PS 958 School. We want to show Indigenous representation through people that are of indigenous heritage, the unity between cultures and the similarities between each other, but also showing some of the beauty from the culture, things that you make with your hands, animals that are indigenous to the land as well. And really tying the whole mural together with water was the connecting factor for many people because no matter where you are, any part of the world, water is the most precious thing that we can protect. I wanted to point out one thing, and that is the bird that you see at the top of the mural. A black bird with a red throat. It is, in my language, what we call a, a womer. And this bird is my family totem. These family totems, for me, is what helps me continue to pursue my dreams on the other side of the world. And this is one of my family totems that I'm very close with. So a connection here that I think I've found since being in Brooklyn is the unbelievable feeling of storytelling to keep culture alive. And at the end of the day, I think that's what's the most important thing. Uh, what we have done here is to continue those stories across all cultures and continue to keep that culture alive.